Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first Rat Sewer Discord tournament. Now we used to do these back in the day. They were just something that we did for fun. This time around, we have made things more official. We're gonna be doing this on vanilla PC today. We have an incredible lineup of players. We have, coming from the top, 8-Bit Pyro against Elden Merchant, myself against Striker Hitasa, Pyro's Requiem versus Crushable Paper, Kecknir versus Saucy Ace, 600 versus Courier, Donut Rings versus Choncho McFly, Endless versus Ronin Senshi 47, The River versus Mix Up. Thank you all to these wonderful combatants that are going to be entering into this match of Destruction of Chaos. We are going to be doing duels, best of three. You win two rounds, you move on. It's that simple. Couple rules to note. Don't be a shitter. Don't be weird. We are going to be doing no physics. That was just decided last second. These rules, since I am the tournament, organiz uh, tor tournament organizer, Jesus, I reserve the right to add a new rule on the fly. If you do something that breaks one of my arbitrary rules, I'm not gonna just DQ you. I'm just gonna say, hey, don't do that. We're gonna reset the match. We're, we're loosely- We will shit pot you. Great. We are loosely following um, ladder rules. I have flame strike on my weapon here. When you see the flame strike go off, that is when you start. Good luck to both players. Get ready. Round one between 8-Bit Eight Eight -bit Pyro and Elden Merchant. Are you ready, Saucier's? Oh, I'm above ready. Please give us or the countdown from three. Stone. Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three, two, one. All right, both players are off. It looks like a magic uh, liver coming out from the side of Sir Roderick. A really good play to use against this. Looks like a full magic build. We have the Wing of Estelle coming from Carrion Warrior and the Flame Burge coming out from Sir Roderick or Elden Merchant. I think, uh, you know, it, it, the, the Wing of Estelle has been something that we've been seeing in competitive play, showing up a lot recently. Um, but... Uh, it looks like Roderick putting on the first bit of damage with the Flame Burge, a jumping attack. Well done, but a good response attack coming out from 8-Bit Pyro. Both players are just trading. I really like the Honest Shield and Greatsword play coming out of Sir Roderick. What do you think, Saucy? With such a flexible playstyle with the uh, Wing of Estelle, the R2, seeing how you can release it once and twice, it provides for some amazing mix-ups. I actually used to main this weapon, and while I was fighting it, He's like a sleeping giant. You wouldn't expect this weapon to do so good against any meta setup, but it does. It's actually really impressive to see. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely uh, leaning upon every bit of those weapons. All of its ways can be used. Oh, wow. And in that case, finishing it is the way that he used it. Incredible stuff. Thank you for the follow, Sammy. Well done, 8-Bit Pyro, taking the first match over Elden Merchant. Three, two... One. All right. Fire is gone. The players are off. We have another magic liver coming from the side of Sir Roderick. Again, getting that damage reduction. Good play from I there. I think it's a little bold that Pyros decided that he didn't want to uh, buff. He could have put on a boiled crab or really anything else besides physic, and he just decided not to. Yeah, he is playing at a bit of a defense deficit right now. But then again, you also see Sir Roderick and not the most meta armor setup. So in a weird way, it kind of evens out. Um, <clears throat> but uh, love to see what both of these players are bringing to the table again. Really like to see the cosplay. Extra bonus points go up for the cosplay on the side of Sir Roderick. But he is making his weapon work. We have an impaling thrust coming out. Goes wide. We have a weapon swap coming from the side of Pyro. Had the Shamshir out, but then I went back to Wing of Estelle. Back to Shamshir. Okay. I'm so. not sure if you noticed that, but he switched over to his staff and uh, did one of those little back uh, backstab glintstones that mm. uh, hit from behind. That uh, I don't know what his plan was there. Because he only did it once, but maybe it's just a scare tactic. We a have a, a failed Chad parry. weapon parry coming from the side of 8-Bit Pyro. You love to see it. If you hit one of those, you absolutely make fun of your contender. You make them feel like shit because that's what they are if you do hit them with the weapon parry. All right. Oh, and he the does it again. The one hand. He's getting a little cocky with those parries, though. He has one hand. Flaming strike. It. Good damage. Going between both of them right now. It looks like uh, Sir Roderick has a couple different Ashes of War on multiple Flame Burges, which I think is a really good setup right there. 
We have not letting your opponent know what you're going to whip out next. I, I agree with you. I, you know, I think keeping people on your toes. I know myself, who's a big Claymore watcher. That man has 90 Claymores with a thousand different Ashes of War. Here we have an L2 gaming coming out from the side of the Wing of Estelle with 8-Bit Pyro. It is down to the wire from both players. Both players are almost dead. Tries to finish it off with the ambush spell. Doesn't quite get it. He's trying to zone him out. Looks like he's out of FP. It looks like he's out of FP. This is the time where Roderick wants to be on the offensive. Doesn't quite get hit. Okay. Both but with players. such an oppressive setup, I mean, one hit from that R2, he's done for. It doesn't matter what talismans he swips, he swaps, yeah. <laughs> swaps to, <laughs> oh, and he's done catches for. Catches him with the wing of Estelle. 8-Bit Pyro takes it over Elden Merchant. Incredible work there from 8-bit pyro well done uh 8-bit pyro if you want to hop in uh call here and uh, just kind of explain what's going through your head uh during this fight you're welcome to do so if not uh the next bit of players can get ready uh that which is be myself and striker atasa Ooh, how are we gonna do the casting for that you're gonna be uh, uh if you want to hold it down if you want to hold it down uh, you can uh, hey I'll hold it down okay and if anybody actually wants to come and co-cast with saucy ace uh, let uh, me know I can drag somebody in yeah okay yeah well hold on hold on we have somebody we have 8-bit pyro coming in from the the crowd here let's let's move him in here see if he has some words 8-bit pyro what what was uh tell, tell us about that match give us your expert analysis how did you 2-0 Elden Merchant so I really tried to use my range advantage with the uh, special R2 on the wing of Astel. Uh, and I also tried to get in a couple of tricky shots with it because you can uh, cancel an R2 on curved swords and it will dodge backwards, which allows you I'm to- I'm all too familiar with the, uh, <laughs> with the cancels. Yeah. And then Impressive use of the out... R2. Thanks. And then I also bring out the Shamshir because, you know, it's a Shamshir. Who doesn't like it? And then I put Perry on it because I'm me and, you know, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> there you go. Wow, incredible stuff. All right, so we have Cat7 Vaughn and Saucy Ace on the mic here. Uh, it is myself against Striker Tassa. I will uh, count you down. Okay, all right, we have everything going. I'm ready to go. Start on your end there, Striker. Monty, if you're deaf and you can't hear the countdown. No commentary. Oh, that's true. Hold on. Good call, good call, good call. LOL. Honestly, I think even sleep would have been better. Uh, odd choice by montage. You can just see his lack of game knowledge. Absolutely. It's on the front stage. That, man. As you can see, he has yet to get any damage. Oh! Despite our beliefs, he's actually gotten heavy damage. The frost with the poison. And Striker's down! It's as simple as that. Super fast match. I honestly did not expect that. Skill gap. Uh, Cat Pyro? Input? Absolutely. I know. Just a bloodbath. Like, I can't believe Striker would let Montage do that to him. I'm sure Striker is molding, coping, and seething currently. Uh, oh, it absolutely. looks as though Striker tried to take some uh, hyper armor trades there, but unfortunately could not get in on that gug because the uh, poise damage is just too much on that thing. I believe yeah, anything, I no matter what, it poise breaks you. I mean, it was a rough call. I mean, there's the high damage that comes out of that, but that's not going to be enough because the Uggs has amazing scaling with strength, and you're just not going to be able to out damage it or out trade it. You have to play safe, you have to play defensive, you have to go in with their high recovery rate. I, I expect to see Striker make some adjustments to his playstyle to uh, better fit fighting Montage with an audience. I'm looking at Striker's screen right now, looks like he is not changing up his game plan at all. Sticking as the hammer guy. Oh, oh never mind, switching over to the Highland Axe offhand. It looks like he's going to get a, more of a buff off on the uh, Barbaric Roar. Uh, although I will say he is at a bit of a risk doing that. Hopefully he swaps over to uh, Twinbird Kite Shield as he 
gets down on low health because <laughs> currently guys. he is doing a very risky play here with the uh, trying not to talk during damage, my fights. But, uh, lesser viability. So in the chat, there's actually some people saying that this is rigged to boost uh, Montage's views. I got you. Uh, it seems Ooh. the striker might actually oh. be a paid actor. I mean, <laughs> otherwise, I don't see how Montage would be able to win that so easily. <laughs> That's true. Um, all right. Are you ready? Should I count you down? Three. Oh, you, you are ready, right? Yeah. Three, two, one. Immediate aggression by uh, Montage. It seems he's let it get to his head just how well that last match went. Striker fell for the same exact move this time. He's gonna have to play it safe. Montage comes in with the crouch R1. Does not know how to wave dash, unfortunately. Wow. Really can't get an aggression. <laughs> uh, Montage. <laughs> oh, he learned. <laughs> he learned how you to wave dash. You can just see that Montage, while he's not very good at the game, he's very good at adapting. And honestly, I didn't expect him to learn it that fast. But as I want to mention, Striker has lasted a lot longer this time. Apparently, he heard my comments about the rigging, and he's trying to make it seem a little bit more realistic. Striker gets in a big jumping R2 into a Oh my god, R1. and it's over and like that. And he gets the flame of the red mains. That was fast. How would you let him do that to you? The damage of the oh. fire is just insane. Uh, I actually one, thought one that Striker was going to do that because he was doing it pre-game, but I didn't expect Montage <laughs> to so get easily <laughs> fall into it. The high recovery rate, I mean, you can hardly blame him, but... I mean... Pyro, any comments? <laughs> you fuckers. Uh, no, not really. I mean... It's obvious that he was a paid actor the entire time, so what else is there to say? You guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem? Oh, uh, get fucked. Oh, and Montage L. Baby man. Striker seems to have man. evened out the stakes to uh, further make everybody seem that this is real. Uh, he, uh, Montage had to come in here to try and uh, make us stop saying that. He knows we're in the right. But I'm kind of it looking forward to this slander. next match because if Striker wants his reputation to not be tarnished, he's going to have to win this. I'm so sad right now. Cat, I'd we'll like to hear what you there. think about this scandal. <laughs> it's just uh, a I think that Striker here is going to be the supreme combatant because uh, Montage is currently on his uh, downfall arc. And uh, what? If I could get a couple more L's in chat, that'd be uh, wonderful. Just to. Uh, no, no, Clearly no, that's not how that Striker's works. Absolute victory over this little rat man over here. I mean, it's clear that Montage has passed his prime, but he might <laughs> still be able to pull it back. Uh, Pyro, are you ready? I am being summoned still. Oh, whoops. Forgot. Of course Montage died. Uh -huh. Whoopsie daisies. Makes sense. All right. I am now. All right. Three, two, one. And the fight begins. Montage going with the Holy Greets this time. Striker paying it a bit more passively. He does not want to see the uh, big damage hyper arm on that thing. Ooh, gets in a couple swings. Goes Striker for the Striker actually dog. did not buff. In case you did not notice that, Striker did not buff this time around. Well, Immediately going for the Flame uh, of the Red Mains. He thought it would end like it did last time. Got cheeky damage in, nevertheless. Oh, oh, the roll there, one. Uh, and the roll I'm, catch! Oh, that oh, shilling oh, miss does oh. nasty damage. If uh, Striker panic rolls again, he can, might get hit by the uh, chilling mist again. Ooh, pops the bullet. Strategic bullet. Crossbow to get him. Montage just oh, straight up missing his attack. Gets clipped oh, by it. Didn't see the flame coming, so of course he did not roll. Oh, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt single, and say uh, that his B button is broken, but this is rather. Cool, I don't know. Really. Out of the century. <clears throat> he falls Ooh, for Montage. the flame oh. yet again. It is one Hanks shot for both the parties. With his face. His switch to the... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Two hand. And... So he actually swapped yeah. talismans. Like, that's actually going to help him here. Almost falling for the same the flame means. he has taken a 90% of his damage from. Oh. Striker. Ooh. Both of them are so low at this point. Amazing damage. They are both guaranteed one shot right now. Another flame. Ooh. He thought it would end like it did last time. What do we say here? 
It's a perfect it's draw. A That's a well, nice what do we do here? Too bad you can't I'm the dress only one left vermin. standing, therefore Ally I win. still a lion, your moth I think me and Montage will cash. secretly play rock, but paper, you scissors can indeed to catch see if he lost that cash one. Advance. Give me one With second. 17 okay. locations in yeah. that one part of town. It has come in that Montage did in fact lose that one. He lost the rock, paper, scissors. What? So I think that this win might go to Striker unless he says otherwise. when you need your crack today. Ow. What, what what do you mean? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh. <laughs> this is bullshit rule. <laughs> okay, okay. Since I, I the mean... streamer did call BS, we can do yet another match. Uh, I guess Montage will just have to summon us again. Um, it just goes to show you, Montage, even with having paid actors, still manages to lose. Yeah, it's quite surprising. Despite oh, and being his game on a crashed. TV show. Amazing. Oh, amazing. He's Johnny. Opens up. Elden Ring I believe we just saw an Alt F4. He He's lost. attempting to run away from this fight. He's trying to delay Montage it. Maybe the enables score on your cringe overlays you that know. are taking half the screen. Sacrificing his account to get the win. I'm not too sure if that's going to do him well, but he it's doesn't sad, really have a chance of winning otherwise. Fact. Seeing his loss despite uh, visibly cheating. I believe we saw he was on a uh, 125, but I did the math and his stats did not add up. Seems he has an extra 60 levels of cushion. So I just think that that's little, a little bit interesting. Also, looking at Striker's screen right now, his game also crashed, so he's also going <laughs> to cheat right now. Both of them are equally matched. And they're, uh, wow. Really they're equal in power mm. level. Incredible. Mont this could be uh, an interesting This fight. just in, Montage has actually paid someone to DDoS Striker <laughs> to get him disqualified Houston's from the tournament. Talbots allowed. It seems it didn't work as well yeah, because yeah, Striker no is coming back to kill Montage. So it's going to be interesting to see if Montage is able to get the win. I want to mention, Montage is talisman swapping, so it shows that he has a degree of seriousness that he wants to bring to the table. Alright, now Summoning we just wait Hyrule. for him to summon everyone. Okay, we're still trying to get up the game. Uh, someone in his chat informed him that Montage is 138. Here so is the reason Striker why 138, 138 is fine. Right now. The reason 138 is fine is because I, 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 I had four people uh, reach out to me and say that, that they there don't was have a 125. A, uh, seeing that there was a 13 level difference, I can see why Montage did manage to get a win. Yeah, I can't believe Montage never told him. But, you know, it's the advantages that he's after. While it was not against the rules, it was a little sneaky to not tell Stryker ahead of time. <laughs> well, he's gotta use the tactics he has. <laughs> I'm so glad I put this together. <laughs> Summoning Stryker, I honestly did not think he would. Um, I thought he would, uh, I thought his game would supposedly cheetah, cheetah, crash pumpkin yet eater. again. But it looks like he might think he's ready for this challenge. Well, I'll have to see. <laughs> I might try and crash him in the middle of it. I have to watch Ooh. out for foul plays. He might be contacting the DDoS right Little now. Little baby, baby, baby man. Little free baby, baby, striker showing baby his confidence man. in this matchup. I'm so sorry. And dude. Pyro, if you'd like to get ready, let me know when. Yep. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Maybe we should be nicer to Nick. Thank you. Montage Thank you, Rodan Senshi. Approaches Striker. Striker did not pre-buff again. Montage almost gets clipped by the uh, Flaming of the Red Mains again. Ooh, Striker goes for the running attack and misses. Striker goes for the follow-up and also misses again. Striker again playing passively. Montage buffs up his great Montage sword. Montage is a bit... It's like Montage here is playing a bit more passively. And Striker swaps over to another hammer. He loves that weapon. Absolutely loves it. Ooh, Ooh Montage cool. getting first frost hit frost. and Frostbit. This is amazing. Because, as we know... He should have taken more damage there, but I believe he did open up CE last second and increase his damage reduction by a lot. Oh, oh <clears throat> that Stryker is not Stryker great. falling for the there. same combo that he's fallen for in these last two matches. Getting the quick bolus off, too. Looks like Stryker is on the health deficit right now. He is trying to play a bit more passively. Goes for that Flame of the Red Mains again. Wow. 
Oh, it's for a jumping attack Ooh. and hits it, but Montage got the hyper armor. Striker off. is one shot, but I believe that he can make it back from this. Especially if Montage falls Ooh, for that flame again. Both of them semi one shot right now. Montage must have paid him a lot for this good of a paid actor. I mean, this is surprising. Almost close. falling for the flame again. Here he goes for that backswing. Ooh, Ooh and Montage. Very close, Crouch Attack. Very close. This one's down this to the wire. I'd love to see some hearts, beating hearts in chat. Going for the flame Ooh, again. If it isn't broke, oh, don't fix it. He almost fell it. for it. Going for the flame again. Oh, alive. Two one shot. Oh They're both two one shot right now. This is the closest match we've seen yet. This is very close. Up, or, uh, montage up his menu. Ends up his menu again. Switches over to considering switching over to a Stitcher here. And he so, does go for it. It seems that Montage knew he was going to be using fire and purposely made the map rain to get that 20% bonus to his fire damage reduction. Yeah. Striker does not care. Oh, and he does unfortunately go down. Very, very close match. Excellent skill by one of the parties and Montage. Roderick says, good fall, Master Nick. But unfortunately... Pyro killing Montage. I'm supposed to How the match should have ended East had he not used the rain to his advantage. My mom dropped it Very on me good last advice, minute. I'd love to get you I said I didn't want to go and she situation. slapped me for my <laughs> insolence. I hate this so much. The thing is my from soft training kicked in <laughs> and I parried the slap and went for the visceral. Can I come back from this? Okay. Alright. I, I have an announcement. I have an announcement. Oh. Mm hmm I am gonna give the win over to Striker. All right, good. He admits that it was a paid actor. Okay, shut the fuck up. Um, Very good, covering his back. I am love going to, to give the win to Striker for two reasons. Number one, the rain situation sucks. I feel bad about that. I don't know if that would have necessarily netted him the win. It probably actually no. I was I was low enough, so it, it would have. You were very yeah, yeah, low. Yeah, 100%. It, actually, yeah, it would have actually. Either way, either way. I do not want to fucking fight with you guys commentating me again. That was <laughs> so I'm going yeah, to give Striker the win because I'm not doing that again. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Striker so, rightfully getting the win. You love to yeah. see Montage actually being courteous to his fellow streamer. <laughs> Let's all give a round of applause in chat to Montage. I'd love to get Striker in here and talk to him post game. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Striker. I'm gonna bring in Striker. Very good. Very good. Common Montage W. Common What's Montage up, striker? W. Common Montage striker. W. Common Montage hey there, w. How you doing, What's up, man? Con congrats a, on the okay. win. Okay, that I, I don't. <laughs> I I can't. I, I, I literally right even. This. Yeah, here's the thing. The rain sucks. I do feel bad about that. Yeah, so, but so also, I, like, it is it is a part of the video game, right? Like, it's just, I, we, we decided to fight at mag, so we kind of have to deal with the mag stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, here's the thing. If I do this again, we'll definitely do it on Seamless, but, uh, yeah, either way, GG's, man, you were, the fucking yeah, yeah, free-aimed red mains was a really weird thing, <laughs> so that was yeah, fun. Yeah, I started using that recently. It's been, a, it's been really freaking going hammer. It's been, it's been kind of amazing. Yeah, well, uh, amazing stuff, it was, man. It was fun fighting you at your max power level, dude. That was great. <laughs> yeah, dude, hey, I had um, a good time for sure. Um, yeah, I am I mean, going to kick out everyone and bring in oh, Pyro. Uh, I think he wants to hop on the mic. Saucy, though, stay, right. stay on your feet. Maybe good to hear. Back in here. Um, yeah, I hope so, I did a good yeah, job for I'm my already first here, time. Montage. Yeah, 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 true. I'm going to go back to living in arena and just let me know whenever my next match is up, dude. All right. Sounds good. We'll do. All right. See that you guys. Thank you. That was yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot <laughs> yeah. of fun. I was telling Cat to do that. <laughs> sounds Bye. good. Sounds good. All right. See it. Crushable Paper versus Pyro's Montage Requiem. is a bitch. Question mark. Thank you for that, Nash. All right. Both players on my mark of the flaming strike. Three, two, one. All right, both players are getting where they need to be. I pulled in Chimp. Hello, welcome in Chimp. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? So uh, we have uh, Pyro who is going for the bow despite I threw out the flame strike. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh, ooh, it looks like, is that a Zwei mirror match? Ooh, hold on. Let me. Uh, am I still uh, sharing my my screen and chat? I am. Yeah. So if you want to view that chimp, 
Um, there that is right there. Uh, Pyro's Requiem going in for the Chilling Mist. Uh, looks like the first damage is coming out from the side of Crushable Paper. They're using the Lightning. Knocks him out of the sky with the Lightning's Y attack. Pyro right now is gonna have to clutch up a little bit to start putting out some of this damage deficit. Right now, See, both players going for the wild R2s. What do you have to say, Chip? I, I gotta say, whenever Pyro starts getting into that low hit points area, that's when he really starts to shine. I, I think he needs to take a little bit of damage to actually start getting that pressure to play. Um, I mean, he, he kind of made a mistake there, eating that R1. They're resetting to neutral. He, he outspaced. I think latency could have a little bit to do with this against Crushable Paper. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, he's a wizard in jujitsu. Uh, so this guy's name is Crushable Paper. Unfortunately, Pyro is a master of folding people's clothes while they're still in them. So, I mean, it, it could be anyone's game. Look at this, Ooh, he comes Pyro in, coming so close. Back with the damage right now, it is anyone's game. With these Colossals, you can pump out so much damage from both these players. So this really is truly anyone's games right now. It is lightning versus ice. Which element is gonna take it between both players? And I really like what you had to say, Chimp, about uh, Pyro knowing Jiu-Jitsu. I think that really will help him in this Elden Ring match. I think, oh, oh! Pyro going for the Thunderstrike that was so ballsy in his face. Has the Godskin Stitcher right now. Finishes it off with that weapon that is so good at getting that last wow. little bit of damage. Well done, Pyro. Unbelievable. That was a very good matchup between the two. You know, that I really liked seeing this Y-Hander mirror. Unfortunately, Pyro did have to swap off of it, so I'm going to have to say, you know, Crushable Paper might have had him in this Y-Hander play. We'll see if in this next match he's going to go back to his roots and try again. Um, but, you know, hats off to both players. Hats off to both players, indeed. Three, two, one, go! Boom! Fire is out. Both players are ready to go. And we have a... Okay, Crab's coming out from both sides. Looks like Crushable Paper was not going to do it. We have a Starlight Shard also coming in from Pyro's Requiem. And he bows a Starlight Shard coming in from Crushable. Wow, they are just... Okay, both players are <laughs> emoting at each other. Maybe to get in each other's head. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Ooh, the poke doesn't quite come out from Pyro's Requiem. Gets punished from the running R1 from Crushable. These off? Okay, they literally have both the exact same build right now, Chimp. This is yeah. just going to be a complete skill match. You know, I've actually seen Pyro run this setup before. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll... Not Deus. It looks like Deus Vault has had a DQ. They could potentially be playing from a McDonald's Wi-Fi right now. Uh, sources have not gotten back to us on that one, but uh, that's okay. These things happen. Sometimes you don't pay for the premium service, but I think the premium service could potentially be bought. You just have to have five extra nuggets on your meal, pay for that, and they also give you that option. Three, two, one, go. Boom, fire is out. Maybe both players will have about one minute of uncontested buffs again this time. Hopefully we see that. Looks like that is the case again. Uh, interesting to see that both players are just going for the full buffs and uh, no aggressing. Uh, looks like Pyro just absolutely took a, a JR1 right to the face and said, I don't need that health. Who gives a shit about that? Real right. interesting about this fight is they actually did not gesture each other. Yeah, they there, did there cut that out of the bad. intro combos. I did notice that, Chip. Uh, maybe that might be converted into uh, point downs after the fight, hopefully. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, fishing attempts and some running R1s, but it doesn't seem like they're mixing it up right now. You know, One of the biggest uh, roll catches, I would say, as far as this Y-Hander mix-up, is just throwing out that charged R2. <clears throat> That is right. I think one of the beautiful things about the Zwei-Hander that I think more people need to employ is that <clears throat> you can bait people in with the second R2 of the charged R2. Um, it does this nice little burger flip motion that is truly the burger flip of all burger flips. And uh, oh, Ooh. stuffs out the giant hunt. Oh, Ooh, but he lands at that it. time. One more hit, Pyro is on the ropes. Those nerves might be getting to him. Oh, no, and a the big running snap. R2. Oh my gosh! That tiny little time mix-up, assuming it was gonna be the R1! Oh, <sighs> I, didn't, I didn't notice you emote. Sorry, Pyro. Pyro takes it! Pyro takes it! I'm gonna bring you into the call here, Pyro. I wanna know what's going on in your head right now. What, uh, what are you feeling right now? I wanna play Lords of the Full One. 
<laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> All right. Anything about the fight you want to say? Uh, you know, I was really happy to see uh, a fellow SWI user. I don't know if they were purposely mirror matching. That's also something I appreciate. In the first round when I saw the boulder come out, I was like, you know what? No, uh, that's that constitutes uh, the god skin being thrown into the mix. But good fight. Very, very even. Like, could have been anyone's game. And uh, that's what. And I also like the amount of fishing we had at the start of the second one. That was pretty <laughs> tense. But uh, great, massive GGs. And uh, yeah, wishless Lords of the Fallen on Steam as always um and yeah right. incredible yeah. stuff thank you pyro um right. wonderful stuff to you uh wish you the best in the rest of this tournament brother all actually right, oh, would you. you like to stay on for commentary do you want to I do would, that maybe? i would love to okay all right so i'm gonna pop chimp boys. out thank you okay chimp. thank you chimp you. great commentary on that one um excited to have you on board uh how, how are you feeling did, did, did the nerves ever get to you Oh yeah, I was actually under the impression, the complete and utter compression, that I wouldn't have any nerves because I didn't come into this with a game plan, I'm using my normal build, I thought it would be chill, and lo and behold, any tournament, the nerves kick in, your heart starts pounding, you can hear it in the back of your head while you're trying to fight, and uh, no, but that's all part of the fun, you're not having fun if your nerves aren't kicking, so... That is true. Uh, that, that just means you want it. You want it badly. And, and I can always appreciate that and get behind it. The next matchup right now we have is between Kecknir and um, and Saucy Ace. I, okay. Both players are ready. Give me the countdown. Tres, dos, uno. And cero. Fire is out. We have, oh, it looks like we have Exalted Flesh coming from the side of Kecknir. We have again Saucy Ace going for his Crag Blade Clean Rut Straight Sword. All right. Ooh. This is a complete parallel to the previous match where the combatants took times to buff. We are going straight in for the assault in these fights. Ooh, catches the roll, the call out by using a pre chilling mist in his face. But Saucy Ace is a lot more aggressive this time around, and it is working out for him. Oh my gosh. I mean, uh, Saucy Ace definitely having the upper hand Ooh. here, but in a roomy coming out, that weird R2 that you get from that weapon definitely gives it. <gasps> oh, that's. He had that the rot spinning slash. After reading slash. through plenty of articles related to the recent Lords was, of the Fallen hands off demo, I feel that I'm finally ready to tell you about the game. Every single day, forever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, wow incredible lords of the fallen uh intro for a video that has 1400 views you guys should check it out oh. but speaking of 1400 views and uh great videos in pyro's requiem's youtube channel we're gonna send saucy ace home it is a tied match ladies and gentlemen and fire is out the crag blade it looks like both players are sticking with their build never mind Ketnir has uh, opted for the sword spear Oh, this weapon swap might be something that might get in the head of Saucy Ace. When you see a new weapon come out after being uh, used to a... Oh, a freezing pot right to the face. R1's Imagine coming out from the side of the sword spear. Yeah, that, isn't that a bit of a tricky weapon? A backstab almost comes out. Continuing. Saucy Ace. Yeah, they're definitely going at it. And I really like that they're taking every opportunity they get for each opening. A lot of back and forth action, again, finding that opening to get going, get the bread rolling, or a few jumping attacks, maybe to crack open that, that gap, shorten the distance. Oh, and we have a jump attack to crack that gap. They're really trying to fill out each other. You can see here the frost pots are a really good mix up. It's keeping constant pressure on both combatants. Seems to be not only finding a good place in each other's combat, but also rotating around the map. And mm. with a constant supply of throwing pots and ashes of war, I'm also seeing the backstep attack, which is quite a fun but risky move because it's easily punished. But anything to start getting the hits going. Oh, oh and there we go. Getting Kegnir hit. is down to one hit, Pyro. The, the pressure Flame is on. Flame of the Red Maids! I have never mm. seen this Ash of War used so much in a tournament. We have it from the side of Saucy Ace now. The Doing it again. Is unbelievable. Keeping up a strong, absolute projectiles being thrown. And 
we see a little bit of backlash coming on to Solsi. Dolce is coming back. He's definitely going to keep up with those projectiles. There must be an extreme amount of pressure on both combatants here. One trying to keep on above water and the other trying not to drown. Is that a frozen needle that I just saw work? Saucy trying to punish with the, the, the storm blade. This man is unironically using frozen needle to really bring it back for him. I mean, he got one or two and it worked. Oh, the banished night change. And Both players are down, the but the, the frozen needle is more oh. opted to finish this. <gasps> the safe bet is punished. He is Misery down. cord, last second, soft swap. We're a hard swap, fuck if I know, but it worked nonetheless. Are you not entertained? I, I mean, I... oh my gosh. The second I saw that small little shank-like dagger come out, I was almost sure it was over, but would you believe it? There was a comeback. He swam back to the surface, turned it all around. A lot Incredible of pressure bringing stuff. back and forth. Absolutely on the edge of my gaming chair right here. I, I love that. Speaking oh, of being hey, on I'm the edge of our gaming chair, we have dropped in Saucy Ace. What are your thoughts after that performance and that anime level finish? Dude, Kecknir, I did not expect that. He played so fucking well. Like, if that had been Montage instead of me up there, it would have been 2-0. All right, everyone, that was Saucy Ace. Uh, yo, Kecknir. Yeah, what's up? What's up, man? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, everyone, uh, next match is 600 versus Courier. In three, two, one, let's go. Boom, fire is out. is out. Ooh, right off the bat with Carrion Phalanx. Carrion Phalanx. I, I've fought Courier plenty of times on uh, this build of his. It does high damage, but it's also n not... And the damage. match is over just as quickly as it started, it seems. That high damage really did put out... It, he did so much damage, he even hit the Ethernet cable of 600. And once again, three, two, one, go. Okay, we have Courier just blatantly missing a frost pot. Uh, we have those phalanxes back out. Looks like we have the fire pickaxe. I mean, gotta say it's a swag weapon, but it doesn't look as swag when you're getting hit right in the gut with a carry of piercer there. You know, personally, I do believe in pickaxe supremacy, and I think with, with the right amount of reads and a, a properly timed R2 or two, especially with the fact that it does piercing damage so it can get that counter damage, he, he could make up for the, the current health deficit. That is true. We have more spells coming out from the side of uh, Courier here. I want to say Carrion, but it's Courier. Um, and, uh, oh, it's another piercer, but 600 is fighting back. Courier goes for the parry, the raw parry on a pickaxe, this mad lad. And that's an offhand Iron Cleaver I also just noticed that he has yet to use, but could certainly be interesting. Oh! oh speak of the witch. Courier takes it. Courier has taken round one against 600. I mean, Courier has the utility in his build, whereas 600 has uh, the damage, the power. Um, in this particular case, it does work out better in the favor of Courier. Um, he will be taking game one. Well done, Courier. I give a three, a two, and a one. Uh, that was a Lord's Rune, I believe, that he started yes. the match off with. Oh yeah, that okay. I thought it was a uh, Rune Arc for a second. I was gonna, uh, but you are right. Yeah, that was just runes. Um, no rune arcs in this, by the way. And a turn. parry right oh, off and the bat. And I know Instantly this build. over. This build is capable of the one shot if he lands it. And <laughs> he landed it, Keknir. Three, two, one, go. And fire is coming out. All right, Chancho with the Gloomstone Curse immediately. Not catching Donut off guard, though, thankfully. Is it, is it the dual commentary, or am I just talking? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I was sorry. I was uh, restarting the music, so I wasn't paying attention oh, for okay, one cool. second. But it looks like we have a magic build coming out from the side of Chancho. Uh, he's running the Banished Knight Halberd with the Moonveil. Uh, L2. As well. Yeah, it looks like he has a lot. I can't tell if these are hard swaps or soft swaps. I wouldn't be surprised if they're hard swaps. Oh, but we get the war cry! Up. Gargoyles! <laughs> it's two big oh, hits so on Chancho! All right, all right, Donut, giving no, us a go. bit of a weird, quirky build, uh, but it's working against someone Donut. that 
Well, it's yeah, just I, I, uh, I, I, taken off yeah, that, that, by that, a clean that, rod to the face from Choncho. Well done, GG's Donut Strings. Yeah, that's an easy off stock. That, donut wanted to do a, a unique thing. Uh, so that they were looking through the halberds and looking through all the weapons. Like, he, is there Gargoyle's halberd very much? And, uh, mm. and there they are. Well. Using the, the smallest halberd, but it gets a really good AR. So, three, two, one, and go. A little bit of a preview coming up from Donut, right. but that's fine. We the have. The sword active. We have the sleep grease or the sleep ash of war coming from the Saint Trudor sword. I wonder if Chancho is going to commit to this. We have an off cleaver. Might. Look at that. Yeah, that is, that is a gargoyle halberd with an off cleaver. Here comes the jumping R two. Chancho looking for that, looking for that crouching R one is a, is probably his longest range option on the single straight sword. Oh, a, a jumping, jumping R one has Dona in the corner. Donut is just, here's the thing, like, Donut is just mashing out of hit stun, which if you play on somebody that knows what they're oh, doing, no. that can catch people. It almost gets the backstab off of the air catch. Wow. Uh, I will say something about Donut that is uh, that is very surprising. They're running 33 points. They have all of their damage, they have all of their points pumped into, into strength, so they have very, very low endurance, so the heavy armor wasn't really an option for them. Yeah. They, uh, they're going for maximum damage, and it is, it's paying off with some of these R2s and some of these jumping attacks. There goes the uh, the hard swap parry. Oh my gosh, Chancho. <laughs> Chancho is just all over this one. Really wants the parry, but if he misses that parry, I mean, that's that's going to be a lot Chancho, of damage. The death virtual spear, he's taking the hit, but here comes Doesn't the Doesn't get it. It goes oh. far, goes wide. I, I do not believe he was locked on, or maybe that was just some Elden Ring magic there. It could be. I oh, will the say Banish the Banished Knight Halbert is out, ready to finish the match. Wait, but now, can Chancho Donut get... Oh, there it is. Ooh spacing that there is one is. thing that chancho has in spades and that his is, is, is his ability to space i mean incredible mm -hmm. just great stuff great stuff all around from chancho well done uh the man I'm... clearly knows his stuff and i just want to say big hats off to donut for bringing such a a, a fun build to a fun tournament so uh very good stuff there yeah, as well I'm, I'm i'm proud of donut for that one being being a new player is very rough in this game especially when your first match and your first tournament ever is freaking chancho mcfly Mm -hmm. uh, the, it, it can be very intimidating until uh, tournament nerves are very much a thing. Uh, so I, I I feel for him. That is very true. Great stuff coming out of there. I'm just going to update uh, the challenge here. Uh, so Chancho Chicks takes takes it. Takes Chancho it. Chicks Chit. <laughs> yeah, Chancho takes it over Donut moving on in the tournament. Three, two, one. Fire is out. Both players are ready to go. We have Crab coming out from the side of Endless. A Crab also being responded with on the side of Ronin Senshi. So, both players feeling each other out, playing that little footsie game. Uh, Ronin Senshi, both players on the aggressive. I, I, I really love to see the matches that aren't just a heavy read fest the entire time. Uh, but uh, more of just getting in there, getting crazy, getting wacky with it. Is that a blood grease from the side of Endless? It is. He's really trying to get this bleed, this bleed build up. Ooh, almost catches the roll out with that chilling miss. And we have some pokes coming in from Ronin Senshi. I, I, I mean, again, like I said, I just love to see the aggressive playstyle, And it is working out. Does barely clip Endless. And that's a raid from Lapisha. Welcome in, Raiders. Well done, Ronin Senshi. 1-1. One, one. Dodd, uh, what would you say about that last match? Because uh... I'll say that the cool burn of a cigarette down my throat was way better than anything Elden Ring has to offer me. So mm. you're saying that uh, uh, tobacco products are... The cancer-causing problems of tobacco problems are better than Elden Ring. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm saying that for sure. But, you know, I guess if I had to comment on anything that I saw going on there, I'd say the two guys were red. One man died and the other one didn't. And that's, um, you hate to see it. That's, uh, big that whoop -whoop. truly is some commentary i think how do you, you feel that like that's the commentary of a man that is just better than you in every way how do you feel about that i don't know if that's how i would say it but mm. what i will say is that it's time yeah. for the countdown okay well then do it <laughs> what do you what are you gonna make I, other people do all your job for you you said i'm you're streamer, man. asking you're minimal you're not it's masking three, anything. two one 
well, the fight has started off, and uh, yes, I don't know we have this go open, so I'm just kind of like, you know, just You're just existing in the call, huh? I'm just kind of hanging out. I mean, you knew it was going to happen when I said I would commentate and I wouldn't leave the call, so you know, this is what we're looking at. But, yeah, yeah. I just got a scythe because he's like, you know, check it out. I've, I've played Reaper. I have started with the Reaper class. The other guy started with, you know, Mach Shift Samurai class. That's, you know, whatever. And he's getting in there and he's like, listen, the Reaper class has a plus four against, you know, edgy, edgy boys. And unfortunately, Samurai just kind of comes with that, like off the bat. And that's bad. That's a bad thing that happens. And, you know, that plus that plus three is going to really, you know, pop in here. Oh, it seems like somebody farted. It's blue. He should get that checked out. That Baja Blast is something nasty. You don't want to you want to look out for that. And there are uh, swap coming from the side of Endless. It uh, seems to Baja be a, a stink. Yeah. There seems to be a stink on the other player, which is really unfortunate, you know. But oh, there's a little bit of a, a Reaper catch there. That's one of their special abilities. You you probably wouldn't know. You've never played that class. But, I uh, oh, played some dear. times, oh, but no. Ronan Senji gets the off Nagakiba swing, which does not it's get. It's really unfortunate. Out. That's unfortunate to see that happen. Um, I think if I wore that hat, my parents would disown me way before they actually did, and that's really unfortunate, but, you know, he took the win anyway. Three, a two, a one, Ale. Ale, yes, all right, both players are ready. We have a crab coming out from Mix-Up, and we have River responding with his crab. A j oh! Okay, oh, he gets jumping the R1 into the... He's doing his typical thing. I mean, look, we, we it's 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 the river that we're talking about here, and I mean, look at that. Hey, it's, hey, shut, look, cat, do it. Shut up. Okay, hey, go uh, cat. River right here. He's trying to go for perfect blocks. Earlier in the call with Saucy Ace, he was really, really bragging about how well he's getting at these perfect blocks here. Uh, he's really just his exclusive gameplay style is just go for backstabs and be a little annoying shit, uh, as the typical river way is. Uh, River gets procced by the bleed. <laughs> Naki Kiva. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a stupid idiot that guy is. He's playing a bit more passively now because he's at a health deficit, but, uh... Ooh, he tries to go for the perfect block. Doesn't get it, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he poised through that. Gets clipped two times with the Naki Kiva again. Goes for another Beast Roar. He's trying to finish it out quickly here. Uh, is a bit more passive. Uh, gets close to the camera because he's a scared little baby bitch. Uh, goes for the pest threads just, again, close it out. Uh, if we were allowing fan daggers, 100% River would be spamming those because, of course, as we all know, River loves fan daggers. But of course, since they are banned, he's just going to keep spamming Pestle Reds. Ooh, make right fun. in his make, face, gets clipped by the other one. Fashion. Pick, pick the fashion, hit the fashion up. Oh yeah. River, I have no fucking clue why you decide to use Octopus Heads. The most fucking ugly, <laughs> ugly shit in the game does not match at all with your Vanish Knight hat set. Uh, to top it off, the uh, photo oh! units are just not the look, my guy. And of course, the better player wins because obviously, as we know, River is just skill and issue incarnate. Anyway, back wow. to you, Montage. I mean, I, I, you love to see a nail biter down to the wire fight. Mix it up does take it with that Nagakiba spam. I mean, I think one thing that in his toolkit that gives him the benefit here is that he. He's got the range, and River is sticking to this Highlander Axe. I don't know if the Highlander Axe is... It's a damage thing. I know he's running Barbaric Roar. I know that's a big piece to his build, uh, that giving him that range option. But, I mean, when it's up to scuffing, you... If you, the whole thing that you're revolving or your gameplay around is that perfect block, I mean... I, you see it there, folks. You're going to have to land more than, than just one or two, so... Yeah, we'll see uh, what he does next time. Maybe he tightens up on that perfect block gameplay. Uh, or uh, if he decides to kind of change things around a little bit. Looks like Mixup has changed his weapon. So it's going to be a new uh, game, at least coming from the side of... And a three, two, one, Ale. Ale is out. Both players have their crabs going. We have a lightning pot coming from both sides. I'll let you take it from here, Cat. Ooh, River gets clipped by a jumping R1 there because he's bad at the game. Uh, River, of course, on the back backpedal now. Is not looking to trade with that. Poison missed. Holy shit, what a giga chat. On the four greatsword, too. That stanky clap. Ooh, and he gets backstabbed. Wasn't even a perfect block. Ooh, you really gotta, like... It, it's River's just rubbing it in, you know? Like, it, he didn't even need the perfect block that time. Just... 
Ooh, switches over to the talismans. He needs that extra defense. Ooh, he Versus took his River. helmet off there, Cat. Have you noticed that uh, the comets Ooh. have gotten to his head? Inside his head. Of course, the best way to win. Oh, it's back on. <laughs> Puts it back on. Storm Stomp coming out. Pretty sure uh stood up here, decided to pull out the Storm Stomp because he knew he was under a uh, hundred poise. So, uh, good play from him. Pulls out the Reaper. Uh, he's walking to a farm to grow wheat, if you might say. <laughs> Goes for the back step for no reason in particular. Ooh, Does it again? Walk. I mean, we said that again, if your entire play style is to fish, a fisher you must be and a fisher he was. Well done from the side of the river. It. That's it's a 1-1. One, one. to a fall. And a 3, 2, a 1, play. Okay. Both players ready. We have a crag blade now coming out from the side of river. What what weapon is that that he that he's running? It looks like uh, Ooh, just a normal the straight sword. Oh, sham shear. Yeah. He learned from me. I gave him that pick because he was uh, recently doing some ladder tourneys. Uh, it seems as though he's a bit of a I don't know what to call it. Oh, and mix it up. Tries to go for the parry. Does not it's get it. The parry. We'll say, Shamshir is actually one of the easiest setups to parry, as long as you try and parry the follow-up, because it's very consistent. Unlike mm. consistency, though, River over here is bad at the game. Uh, mix it up, tries to <laughs> pressure him, but of course River gets out of that vortex real quick to the bolus. He really needs that <laughs> to fucking stop the stay the, or bleed buildup to go for the follow-up, but mix it, uh, mix it up does not go get for the uh, three over there. Backing off the gas, though. Might be going for a talisman swap, though. Goes for the beast man's hits it. Goes for the shit pot. Insane. Uh, Would you consider that to be BM? Right you think? Might be um deserve a DQ, except for uh, oh, River would win, River and that's wants not fun. This fish so badly, he wants it so badly. Oh! Ooh, and the spinning slash just to get him off of him. Come and the follow up R two. Beast man's again. Both of them are at a equal standpoint right here, and they're just trying to get into each other and just get a quick pop. Ooh, River goes for the pot. Successfully dodged, though, by Mix It Up. Banish Knight Halberd coming out. Oh, gets oh. the perfect block. Gets out of it. Oh. He's trying to go for his all, all of his patented moves right here, but he does get clipped by that jumping R2. Reverse JR2. I mean, it, it's an even game. Both players could take this. Shame here again. match and river wins it unfortunate I think you hate to see that mix up had an unfortunate uh uh what pivot there i think that was uh death by pivot all right three two one go boom all you take it away kek near all righty so right off the bat buffing a little bit late but it seems that saucy isn't going to take the advantage of that and they get a trade right off the bat Seem to have uh, roughly equal health. Attempting a jump attack, but that gets backstabbed by the Craigblade for 782 oh, damage. Man. Trying a backstab attack. And that is Chilling Mist on the UGS, trying to get a Frost Prong, and he's already down to one hit, and he's I... already... It's, it's done. The 2-0 man, I think, was just perfected by Saucy Ace. I, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I saw Pyro get a hit off. And on a 3, a 2, and a 1, let's get it going. Is out. We have a crag blade coming from the side of Saucy Ace, and is that a Narumi coming from the side of Virus Requiem that has been buffed up by Lightning Grease? I really like to see that. I think the Arumi is a bit of a slept-on weapon. It's not the most broken thing or any uh, or anything like that, but as of the 1.09 patch, I mean, it is a little bit quicker, comes out faster, uh, and uh, woo! attempting a parry. Recovery. You're looking for with recovery. with that shield, I I don't think I've ever seen somebody use that shield in a PVP match before. Well, I use that one all the time. The plank shield truly is something to marvel at, but it looks like he has come back onto his comfort pick, this Y hander, and two feints to finish step. it. The, the the faint kills. It, it's a it's a weird 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 weapon fight. Congratulations. Well done, Saucy Ace. Saucy Ace looking like a very strong contender for this tournament. 
Really excited to see uh, how things go going forward. Saucy Ace throws a pot on me. You're a piece of shit. Okay. All right, both players are in their position, ready for you when you are, Kekner. All righty, attempt number two, three, two, one. All right, we have a Ice Pot coming from the side of Courier. We have Poisonous Mist coming from the side of Choncho. Choncho spacing that. Ooh, already has the, the Poison Brock with the Poison Crown. He definitely knows how to get those crouch pokes in, but Courier is doing a good job of keeping the health pretty even despite the uh, poison proc bringing his health down, but he does take a pretty hefty hit. Choncho is keeping up this pressure right now. Oh, he knows that Courier is trying to get the bolus off. Courier does get the bolus off, and uh, but hits him with that piercing fang, which means that damage totals are, are even. I mean, the both oh, yeah. players are low, and you'd love to see that. Good even match, yeah. The uh, Carrion Piercer is an amazing spell for just, I mean, if nothing else, making space. As, he can, as, as you can see, you can just keep him at arm's reach to, to get off whatever he needs to, and that, that, that did let him get off the bolus there. And now he, he's made it even. He doesn't have to deal with the pressure of that poison proc, and he doesn't have to deal with the increased AR from that mushroom crown. And assumedly, oh. jumps over the frozen pot and takes it with the jumping R1. Well done, Chancho. I that was mean, spicy. That was spicy. That was a good read. That was a good hit. Maybe it was just poor timing on Courier's part, or if that was a pure read from Chancho. Both could be true. One could be true. We'll never know, but well done either way. And I'll give it a three, a two, and a one to get this one underway. All right. It is out. We have uh, River looking to uh, try to... Uh, punish with the Beast Roar, uh, Ronin Senshi's buffs. Looks like both players get those, uh, buffs that they wanted to. River could not get his Crag Blade on his Shamshir off last time, but that has been activated this time around, and that is that on the damage. table! Those three shots! I think that was only two. I think the first one oh, That missed. was two? Yeah, two hits for a thousand damage. That is insane damage coming out of the Shamshir. I mean, you, one would think it's almost like a Shamshir build. He has to have the raising attack, repeating attack. <gasps> Beast Roar to catch him out. Ronin Senshi is is definitely on the, the, the back foot. It looks like we had a perfect block attempt come out of River there. And uh, I mean, River's he's just absolutely gonna... taking it this time around. Yeah, I mean, he's ready. Uh, it looks like, oh, the Beast Roar jump. Barely doesn't get over the Beast Roar. Hits him on the land. Well done. River takes it. Indeed I am. And I'll give you that three, two, one, and start it off. Boom. Fire is out. Seems Ronan a little delayed with his buffs and takes the Beast Roar off the bat this time. As both players are sitting on opposite sides of the arena, Ronan putting, I think that was Bleed Grease on his Ansper using a, a Guardian Sword Spear in his main hand this time, and a backstab right off the bat for 705 damage, and a little bit of health back with Godskin Swaddling Cloth on the side of River, using that axe a lot more this time than the Shamshir, showing how much prowess he has with that specific weapon. Really showing that if you put the time in with an off-meta weapon, you can still make it work against something as good as Sword Spear. But will the, the question now is, will Ronin be able to take it back with the damage of that Sword Spear? He's already so low, only one more hit might finish the job. As he's just trying to play a little safer now, maybe, maybe try and poke in a little more damage as Revere just keeps throwing out those baits and attempts at, at punishing any possible aggression and takes it with one last little running attack for 66 damage. And a smack on the face will do it to seal the deal. Congratulations, River, going 2-0 over Ronin Senshi. Ronin Senshi, good job on your end. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for playing. I'll give it a 3, a 2, and a 1. Boom. Okay, Crag Blade coming out of Saucy Ace. We have the running KGS attack from Pyro. Ooh, it's a decent attempt at the piercing thing there, but does not connect. We see more of these delayed attacks coming from Saucy Ooh. Ace, and we also have these wild, wild, wild strikes coming from the KGS gameplay. 
tries to get those combos as he says in his name he is the combo duelist but can he land those combos My extremely gosh. impressive that this little oh! oh a piercing fang to steal that wow cutting me off before i even started my sentence b buck button broke i moved to sue wow we have some johns coming out from the side of saucy ace i i i, I mean well done to pyro for landing a sexy piercing fang finisher move i mean whenever that thing lands here's the thing when you're on the receiving end of a piercing fang you already know before you're dead that you missed your roll timing you just know automatically that that you are down for the count when it comes to that um so never feels good to have happen to you uh um but i'm sure saucy ace will bounce back i mean that was a close match the damage on both sides it's time to count us down i agree and with a three a two and a one i will kick this round off for you Rag blade, straight sword, coming back up. You know, it works, and he, he's sticking with what works, that's for sure. The question is, does he even have very many sock swaps, or is he really banking on that thrusting sword with the crag blade? And he's still winning those trades quite handily. Already 1,229 health, already down to one hit left. Whoa! And he finishes it with a flame of the red mains. You do not see that often. Saucy Ace wrapping up with Flame the Red Man. I, I I don't I don't get it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I, I don't I do not uh I, I've not, I have not seen it so much. But one thing that we can see right now is a solidified spot of Saucy Ace in the finals and the next match going to Chancho McFly and the River. I I it just 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 crazy great stuff. I, I I'm yeah, the heart is beating from the side of Saucy Ace. Can he take this entire match. Three, two, one, kick it off. All right, fire is out. And uh, it looks like we have a ton of just, I think those are normal daggers coming in from Chancha. We have the Ooh. lightning strike coming from River. PSGS coming out light on roll the field. PSGS maybe. Is that light roll? Uh, is it? I, I... It's hard to tell from here. Light roll is that banned. That is soft swap. I don't. Yep. Th I don't think he physically can light roll. That is yeah. soft swap. Power stance gugs and power stance great spears. The man <laughs> has clearly lost his mind. <laughs> this is uh, quite the uh, the build here with the gugs and the uh, PSGs coming out. Uh, but River does get his damage off with his perfect block. Crouch R1 coming in from the side of Chancho. Crouch L1 coming in from the side of Chancho. Big damage coming in from River. It looks like he wants to finish it off with a clean rot. He's going to try and finish it off with a power stance Gugs, maybe. It, it really is a dice roll. He has so many weapons stuffed into those little loincloth pockets of his. And he takes his first hit of the match now, it seems. They're so stacked in the favor of Chancho. His his confidence just through the roof, possibly emboldened and empowered even by the Giga Chad face. Oh my gosh, these perfect blocks. I mean, it could lead to massive damage if he lands one and he does! Over a, a 1,000 damage bringing... And he healed off of that. He has the, he has the, the talisman that gives you a heal from a, 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 a crit. Gone, uh, oh. Oh, the the dagger? Yeah. I yeah. have never seen that talisman used. Oh my gosh. I mean, the confidence to get those and to make it a part of your build. It, this isn't free get for Chancho anymore. And, and a second it. backstab. River takes it 1-0 against Chancho. I mean, that Insane. perfect block tech. That perfect block tech, again, is something weird to fight. It's a very weird thing to fight. River up by one. It really seemed like Chancho was just going to bully Revere into the ground there, but Revere took it back with just two quick backstabs. The The lack of armor on Chancho really showing here. All right. I wonder if Chancho is going to get off of his... Uh, what looks like a meme setup uh, I mean, and go back working, onto though. his main or... I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, like, I think he know he realizes now that one bad move against River, and and that's that's gonna be 
it could potentially be the entire game for you, so... Something you can't just play on autopilot, can't sleep on river. And I'll give this one a 3, a 2, and a 1 to kick it off, as Chancho does seem to not be straying from his previous build. Starting it off with daggers the exact same as the previous round, but it seems that Revere has some daggers of his own up his sleeve, as they're just exchanging daggers at this point, as it seems that Revere is just running at him, trying to farm a perfect block to get another backstab, try and do the same thing he did last round, but Chancho is just not having it as he did land a Crouchar one, as it seems Revere is just putting so much pressure on him, which is, is given by that perfect block, just the act of having a shield in your hand, Ooh, and that is a guard, guard counter. Break. Guard counter, yeah, sorry. Wow! <laughs> extremely impressive i you don't see guard counters that much and even more impressive than that is the fact that chancho didn't roll it considering it has that big ping cue but well, it he did went for a jump uh, attack to time it uh that's but, true i mean just it was the perfect guard counter at the right time chancho jumping over these attacks chancho can take it if he hits another he does chancho's on the score. board now and a cheeky little backstab and a point down to finish it off uh oh uh oh Chancho said, hey, this worked on me once. I don't think it's going to work on me again. Wow. I, I, it, it, back and forth match on this this very tense semifinals. And, uh, I mean, incredible stuff. We have Giga Chad himself uh, still committed to this this no, <laughs> no resistances gameplay. It, it's, it, it, it is it truly have the crab, at least. something. Uh, I, I, I just, wow, that is, wow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I mean, he has the face of Giga Chad, Chad face. but does he, is that Giga Chad able to be the face of Giga Clutcher, because, I mean, he did just take his one win, is he going to take his second win and take this over River, or is River going to strike back the you way the he coin. needs to? I'll give it a three, a two, and a one. Seems that Revere had a had a bit of a, a mid-match snack as he is now uh, sporting a larger torso, trying to get some extra defense against those power stance great spears. And Ooh. that's piercing fang that lands right on the tip. Wow. Last pixel of piercing fang connects. That is huge for Chancho, especially with having that grease on top of it. That's a little bit of extra damage is going to be something that he's probably... Uh, going to come out really well for him. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's a change. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. That's what a swap. We, oh, oh, but we he's fat heavy. rolling. We have heavy. Oh, he no. He was not ready for this. Immediately takes off his, his chest. The quick swap, the panic swap, because he's like, oh, crap. I have made a grave miscalculation. Great bow coming out. Great bow coming out. River, you do not want to be far away like that. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, he's using the magic bolts! Magic golem arrows. Those don't he's... have an a Those They don't they don't have they an don't AoE. Have an AoE. Despite the appearance, they really look like they should. Okay. Oh! And he fixes it with that. It. Wow. Insane. Wow, takes it with the magic great arrows from the Radon Great Bow. And the point down! Finishing it not only without any armor, but with a great bow of all things, not even with the golem arrows. And I'll give it a three, a two, and a one. All right. More money on the side. Chancho took off his armor again. He's going Giga Chad for the finals. He's he's really going for it this time. Not even with the Power Saints Great Spears or the Gugs. He's, he's to a, a heavy thrusting sword this time taking just the the longer version of oh but he's back to it oh but he he might be indecisive it seems he doesn't know exactly Ooh, what he wants to use punishes the jump attack thrusting sword gaming coming out from both sides i mean terpy does say elden thrust and truly that is on display here so we have the great epi versus the clean rot oh, but he's big damage those. come you can't just take your damage off like that because you're going to get your health shredded he has underestimated Saucy by the looks of things, as he is down to just one hit of health, but he does land at the running R2. Will he be able to steal back this health deficit with how little he has? The armor doesn't even matter anymore. 
That is so true, and Chancho is just flying between weapons. He throws on the Twin Bird Kite Shield to get that little bit of extra damage. Oh, almost gets the jump punished from the sword. Oh, that don't the blame the, the Red Mains. Mains. Saucy is making his thing. presence known. That's so true, and, and, and here's the thing. When it comes to the range match, Right now, Chancho has the range on lock. I mean, the, the heavy thrusting sword versus the normal thrusting sword. It's one of those things that really, uh, he, he, we're going to have to see on the side of Saucy that he's going to have to get inside there. I mean, the first attack dodge is huge for him, but it's also that range. Oh, that is exactly what I was talking solid about. finisher. Love that coming out of Saucy Ace. Saucy Reads Ace. upon reads. Uh, 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 yeah, incredible weed, weed, <laughs> reed coming out from Saucy Ace, and uh, up 1-0 against Chancho in these finals match. I wonder if Chancho is going to stick to his no health, it, 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 the, or sorry, no resistances build. I mean, going naked in a finals match, that is a bold, bold, bold. Action. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have Craig Blair. Craig blade coming out and we have daggers in response for that uh crab coming from the side of chancho chancho is uh, like a demon right now the damage right now coming out of him gets Ooh, hit. flaming strike <gasps> chancho is, is in not it good. chancho is Chancho's not playing pissed. around anymore chancho is very pissed he he said hey that first one was a fluke oh and he brings it to a 1-1. One, one. Wow, that was a that was a swift response to round two. It is game three. Chancho Saucy Ace, the finals. I mean, wow, like and a one to get this underway. Final match. Crag Blade coming out. Daggers coming out to abuse that crab. Both players have crab. Chunch, Chancho is is doing just spinning around. Oh, a backstab already! The backstab call out from Saucy Ace. Is he going to be able to? Oh, oh. And Saucy is him. not taking any. He, he is not taking Chancho's BS. Oh, the shield was actually such a good play to get out of that Stormhawk axe. Hold on, Saucy. Courier might be in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems it seems Courier's statement is is oh. emboldening Saucy, making him play like never before. Holy crap though, but that Stormhawk axe did have that residual hitbox that did clip Saucy twice there at the end. Hell it's an even, even match. It is an even match. Oh, oh my but he gosh, but he takes he's gonna it. do it! It's he's so gonna close. do it! He is close! Don't Both. choke! Feathers coming out from the side of Chancho. He's on the back foot. We believe Saucy. We Can believe. Saucy do it? Courier is in shambles. I can't see what he's saying, but Courier it's in all caps. Courier is panicking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. The flaming strike. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Reverse coming from Chancho. Oh. And the, the point, point down. down. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh! Insanity! Wow! Oh my gosh! 